Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. So about four weeks ago I presented the single motor tank design. Now the idea of this tank was to be able to drive a tank forwards, backwards, turn right and turn left just using a single motor. Now of course normally with any sort of tracked vehicle you use normally use two independent motors. One to drive the left track, one to drive the right track. So if you want to go forwards you'd have both going forwards. If you want to go backwards both tracks go backwards. If you want to turn left you'd have the left track going backwards and the right track going forwards which will make it uh, turn left. If you want to turn right do the opposite and make the left track forward and the right track to go backwards. So how can you make that very mechanism using just one single motor? It doesn't seem possible of course because you're trying to make two independent tracks drive in different directions just using one motor. Now so the answer to this particular problem is to design a gearbox uh, switching mechanism that has four different states and those four different states implement each of those four different directions so you have one state that makes the tank go forwards or both tracks go forwards one state that makes both tracks go backwards and then two states uh, one turning uh, right and one turning left and then the idea is, is to use the direction of the actual motor within the tank to either drive or uh, that particular selected function or to change the function selection so in this case when the motor is going in reverse it'll change between the four different functions and when the motor is going forwards it'll actually execute that function and make the tank go in the direction that's been selected so in this case if I select the forward direction of course the tank will drive forwards when the motor is going forwards then when I reverse the motor it'll select a different function in this case turn right and then when I put the motor going forwards I can make the tank turn right Select this function and drives backwards and finally the uh, left function will make it turn left. Okay, even though the design of this tank worked really well, I did find some deficiencies. One of the main ones was that when I did actually drive it, it went quite slowly and didn't seem to have a lot of power. Uh, and the main reason for that was simply this uh, gear selection mechanism it was rather complex. It had a lot of gears and I wondered uh, if there was a better way of doing it. So I spent quite a bit of time looking at different ways of redesigning this gearing mechanism and I've come up with a new uh, mechanism that uh, is a lot more efficient and as well as that there's some framing issues and other minor uh, details I wanted to change so I ended up redesigning this whole tank and so today I'll be presenting to you my new and improved single motor tank here it is it's effectively the big brother so an obvious uh, change is uh, it's much larger uh, I have, like I said, uh, improved the gearing mechanism. You can probably see right there is a lot of, um, less gears uh, to implement those four different uh, directional functions. Also upgraded from a, a large power functions motor to an extra large power functions motor to give this tank a little more, a bit more power and torque. So, but before I present the details of this tank, I'll first talk through some of the uh, details of the uh, designs of the various uh, state selectors and gearing mechanisms. Alright so let's first start talking about how you can get a motor to behave differently depending on the direction of rotation. Now I've talked about this a number of times but just for completeness for this video uh, for the viewers that haven't seen some of my other videos I'll just quickly show you how a motor depending on direction of rotation can drive at two different outputs. So in this case if the motor for example is connected to this uh, top gear here if that's rotating in the anti-clockwise direction it drives this axle in this lift arm uh, to the right and connects onto the right output gear and if that reverses then we connect to the left gear so that's how you can get a motor to behave differently depending on direction of rotation so like again uh, connect to the left connect to the right so in the case of the tank uh, I've got this uh, for example driving the tank itself and then when it goes in reverse direction it will drive the uh, selection uh, change mechanism to select the, one of the four different directions Okay, so I'll just talk about the updated design for the four-way track selection mechanism. So this is the mechanism I had originally for the uh, tank version 1. Essentially what I had was an odd rotary catch uh, with this kind of setup here. And then when I rotate the input uh, forwards, you can see the uh, two output tracks representing, represented by these two axles here going in opposite directions. And then when I rotate the orange rotary catch 180 degrees and reverse the selectors, uh, both of these go in reverse. That allow me to create the, tr uh, the track, you know, left and right rotation mechanism. And then by placing an, an identical mechanism over top like this and having the orange rotary catches at a 90 degree phase, what they allow me to do is be able to generate each of the four different track combinations by driving the left 
output in reverse onto the output axle and the right one just one to one but by reversing these you're kind of getting both of them going forwards or both going backwards and that kind of allowed me to create all the four different uh, possible combinations that were required for the track mechanism but like I said this does have uh, you know a lot of gears uh, it's relatively complex and the um, you know the driving mechanism for both outputs are kind of combined into one single uh, gearing mechanism okay so the updated design for the track selection mechanism for the version 2 of the tank is uh, right here what I've done instead is rather than trying to create both uh, track outputs at the same time the same mechanism I just concentrated on one track at a time so for example here in this mechanism I've got my input at the top there and you can see that as I rotate my input um, forwards that you've got the track going forwards and what I've got here is that as I rotate and put forwards the left two selectors are both going forwards and the right two are both going in reverse and if you look at the pattern of selection we start at the top left here then as I rotate the orange rotary catch we're now selecting this one which is forward as well so it's selecting forward and then selecting forward next position with selecting reverse and selecting reverse I'll just demonstrate that in practice so now we've selected forwards so we rotate the output forwards and the wheel or the track goes forwards uh, next position uh, again is forwards next position is reverse and the next position is reverse now what that allows me to do is to control one track at a time with this particular sequence and then by mirroring this um, setup pretty much in kind of reverse direction but mirrored uh, and then by putting the orange rotary catches 90 degrees out of phase what that means I kind of create a pattern like this if I just draw it on this piece of paper look at uh, track one like I said we've got forward forward and then reverse reverse that's the four different rotations of the orange rotary catch and if I do the same for track two but they're a 90 degrees offset what that means is that uh, the, this particular pattern will start one line down, so we'll start here and go forward, forward, reverse, and that rotates around, wraps around to the top, so uh, reverse at the top as well. So what that means is that the overall pattern, we get forward, reverse, forward, forward, reverse, forward, and reverse, reverse, which is exactly the four combinations we need to drive the uh, tank in the four different directions. So we've got forward, forward, which of course is going forwards, we've got reverse, reverse, which is driving backwards, and then we've got uh, the right turn and the left turn, which is, uh, like I said, exactly what we needed. And it's a simple, simpler mechanism uh, compared to the first design. And uh, yeah, so that's improved the uh, tank quite dramatically. Okay, so I'll just show you how those details have been implemented in practice. So underneath here, we can see the green lift arms. They are the selector for the direction of the uh, rotation of the motor. They either select the left or the right output gear, so that's pretty much this mechanism I demonstrated earlier, so depending on direction and rotation of the motor, either driving uh, the left 12 tooth gear or the right one. So in the case uh, we're selecting the right one, it'll be driving uh, the tank uh, tracks itself, and of course those tank track directions are selected by these uh, selectors and orange radio catches. You can see here they're 90 degrees out of phase like we talked about before to create those four different track combinations. And of course, depending uh, on the direction of rotation of the motor, if it's being driving the selector, then uh, these will rotate and select different gearing options. Now these, uh, this is kind of being kept at 90 degree angles by a stepping mechanism. That stepping mechanism is at the back here, so that's that uh, orange part with the rubber bands just uh, squeezing on it. So that makes sure you get nice 90 degree steps that are required for those orange rotary catch uh, selectors to work properly. Um, so again here's my indicator of the direction that's just uh, been centered through these uh, gears here um, you can see the overall project is a lot larger than my previous tank this has got over a thousand pieces it was actually uh, took me surprisingly a long time to design and build this particular project definitely worthwhile it's probably one of my uh, better projects uh, at the front here we've got the IR receiver for the remote control we've got our battery box and uh, the control switch and uh, like I said before, we've got the uh, extra large power functions motor, which is an upgrade from the large power functions motor used in the previous tank. So that pretty much summarizes all the new design details of this tank. I'll now just uh, show you how it works in practice. All right, let's turn on the battery box. I've got my remote here, so it's got the one channel, but it's only got the one motor. That is the advantage of having only a single motor tank. Okay, let's go forwards. There it goes, we'll change direction, 
we can see we're now turning towards the right we can see our indicator at the back pointing backwards we're now going to drive backwards and again turn to the left and drive forwards backwards and again we'll go forwards I'll just give you a close-up of the uh, changing mechanism you can see it rotating there it's changing the direction of the track selector and we are now going backwards and we'll change to forwards Alright, so that was version 2 of my single motor tank. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.